automatic flight training system. Um, Rob Fisher. Rob Martinez. Um, Tony Barrow. Barlow. Barlow. Robert Redford. Um, Derek Bird and Braun. Braun. And Jamie, who is not with us tonight. stages we took to come up with what we were going to make. Uh, we started in the first couple weeks just brainstorming. We weren't entirely sure what we were going to build. We jumped from everything from throwing ideas of like tracking, kind of, um, one of my ideas was like a tracking bipod or like tripods or like cameras. Automatic tilting roof to shade yourself under your gazebo to automatic uh, blinds. Automatically over and closing piece of blinds. Um, once we came up with the idea that we wanted to do everything from the control of the lighting from the actual lamps, we started with our actual research into parts and developing, developing circuit design. Had an idea of what we were going to do, we started to actually build. There was a point in the beginning when we were talking about how the length of the electrical lines were going to create noise, which is why we opted to go into a fiber optics. Uh, from what I understand, we are the first capstone to utilize fiber optics. We were, um, the general idea is that just over the period of long electrical wires that end up developing noise from anything else that could be in the room. The fiber optics were completely immune due to the fact that they transmit light and electricity. This is the Gantt chart for the amount of time it took for each individual section of a project from maybe 13 days in research, 21 days in prototyping, uh, six days of troubleshooting, and the two days we took for the final build. Uh, we have listed here the, uh, the names of everyone as they went through who worked on what. The majority of the uh, group effort that went into this. Everybody helped everybody. I don't think just one person worked on one thing solely by themselves. Everybody had input. Everybody had a, had a grasp on things. So everybody pretty much knew how everything worked. So by, by the end of it, I think most people had their hands in a little bit of everything by the end. Here's a graph showing the amount of time we took on each thing. We started at the end of June, and we just had finished up this past week. And the majority of our time in the middle here was our prototyping and building, which took a lot. We had a few small changes, nothing really major, um, except something with our with our optical sensors. But um, everything pretty much went pretty smoothly. A lot of stuff didn't work when we expected it to work. We had just a few minor tanks. Everything I thought went went pretty well. And there were no major like overhauls or uh, design changes. more or less safety precautions than actual like designing how it worked. Nothing broke due to, <laughs> due to we, we were trying to avoid things. No, nothing broke due to bad craftsmanship. Everything, nothing caught on fire, nothing burned up, everything, <laughs> everything worked, everything worked pretty well. We didn't have any major issues with anything. You know, a few little things here and there that just happened with small parts, but nothing, uh, nothing due to the skills that we had acquired. Uh, 
a summary of how this works is the user can set um, with the controller here, the user can set the lighting they 